Jack Ma didn't own a personal computer until he was 33 years old, and yet today he is considered one of the biggest tech giants in the world. Once the richest man in China, Jack Ma sometimes known as Ma Yun is widely regarded as one of the most widely influential billionaires in the world. Jack Ma has had a difficult life. From his childhood days until he built Alibaba into a multi-billion dollar global e-commerce technology giant, he has failed many times, been rejected, and been called crazy. Even his own father has warned him about his unique and dangerous ideas and how they could have resulted in his imprisonment in a previous generation. He serves as the global brand ambassador and face of Chinese tech future, business, and companies. Today, Jack Ma is the ninth richest man in China, with a net worth of $22.8 billion. The story of this plunge is as controversial as it is noble, one you need to know about. This is the uncanny story of an unassuming billionaire. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Ma Yun, who later became known as Jack Ma, was born on September 10, 1964 in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, China. Because his grandparents were members of the Nationalist Party, which opposed the Communist Party, his family was persecuted during China's Cultural Revolution. These were tough times that would characterize a difficult hardship for young Jack. Failure, rejection, struggle, resolve, hard effort, agility, and vision are just a few of the things that may be said to characterize Jack Ma's upbringing, education, and the road to success. Jack Ma began his education at a very young age with a unique inclination to the English language. Jack had a strong interest in acquiring more knowledge about the English language, and as a result made significant efforts to improve his ability to speak in it. His wanting to improve his English led him to stay at a hotel frequented by people from various nations who spoke English. When we say stay at a hotel, we do not mean literally staying there, but rather loitering around ready to launch at any opportunity to grab as many words as he could. You could almost imagine young Jack hiding behind the walls and lurking in shadows, trying his best to pronounce, how are you doing, with a twisty mouth and a bad accent. There is no doubt he must have been chased away by the security guards every once in a while as well, but that would not stop him. The witty Jack rather came up with an idea that was less burdensome and yet got him even closer to the bearers of this language that fascinated him so much. The young man started working as a tour guide so that he might pick up the language through conversation with native speakers. Jack Ma, who was just nine years old at the time, rode his bicycle for 27 kilometers to advise tourists so that he could improve his English language skills. Jack Ma took things a step further. He went on to become very close friends with one of the foreigners, one of whom gave him the nickname Jack since the foreigner found it difficult to pronounce his Chinese name. Jack, who shared his sister's dream of attending college, worked hard to prepare for the necessary entrance examinations, which would help him further his education. After the first three attempts, he was unable to pass the examinations. However, on the fourth try, he made it. To give more perspective on the kind of determination Jack Ma had which he would transfer to other areas of his life later on, you should know that the Chinese entrance examinations were only given once every year. Thus, it took Ma three years to pass them, and yet he prevailed. After college, Jack enrolled in the Hangzhou Teachers Training Institute to work toward obtaining a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. In 1988, Jack successfully graduated. After receiving his degree, Jack Ma began his teaching career at Hangzhou Dianzi University, where the young boy who hid and cleaved onto any word he could hear now instructed students in English and international trade. During his time there, Ma served as president of the student council. After that, he attended the Chung Kong Graduate School of Business, which is located in Beijing, from which he graduated in 2006. Jack Ma had a strong desire to attend Harvard Business School, but was unable to do so because every one of his applications was declined not less than 10 times. While they were both attending Hangzhou Normal University, Ma became acquainted with his future wife, Zhang Ying. In the 1980s, not long after they graduated from the university together, they got married. 
After some time had passed, the couple got married and went on to have a son and a daughter together. Jack Ma has always had an unconventional way of doing and approaching things. According to Jack Ma's assistant, Ma had been studying and practicing Chen style Tai Chi Quan, a Chinese martial arts form, in Hangzhou for some time prior to beginning his studies in 2009 with Wang Jian, a well-known martial arts master and teacher. In 2011, the Alibaba co-founder would also expand his fascination with martial arts to his employees. Ma recruited a number of tournament-winning Tai Chi players to work for Alibaba as instructors. Classes were held regularly at the company and employees are required to attend them as a mandatory requirement. Wang, Jet Li, and Ma were the instructors. According to Ma's assistant, Ma's dream is that one day he will be remembered foremost as a Tai Chi master, and not just as the founder of China's largest internet company and the largest online shopping website in China. Jack Ma's entry into the career world was almost as rough as his pursuit for education. Before he launched out on his own, he had submitted his resume to 30 different employers, but was unsuccessful in landing any of them. He once applied for a position in the police force only to be told that he did not qualify for the position. How about that time he went to KFC with 23 other individuals for a job and turned out to be the only one who wasn't selected for the job? In spite of all these wilderness experiences, Jack would not give up. He turned toward himself and began to question what he could do with what he had. His first business, the Haiba Translation Agency, which offered English translation and interpretation services, was born when he saw how he could use his fascination and knowledge of English to his advantage. This was in 1994. As though fate was rewarding him for taking such a bold move, the very next year, Mr. Ma first became aware of the internet, a critical juncture that would change his life forever. In 1995, while Ma was representing the government of Hangzhou in the United States, he got his first experience using the internet. His trip was sponsored by the municipal government of Hangzhou. Despite the trip, he was introduced to the power and reach of the internet by some newfound friends. Having told of what the internet could do, he decided to look up the word beer. As to why that was the word he decided to look up, well, that's a story for another day. Jack Ma was intrigued by the search results that popped up, but something was missing. It surprised him that there was no information about beer originating from China, despite the fact that he found knowledge about beer originating from several other countries. He took a breather and went on further to search for basic knowledge about China, but to his surprise, he could not locate any. His shock and sadness were almost suddenly met with an exciting eureka moment at the same time. He immediately recognized an excellent chance for a massive business opportunity. In fact, he later discovered that there were very few Chinese websites. Ma immediately went to work with his friend to develop a Chinese-oriented website. And to put it in lighter terms, it was not the most appealing of websites. But it was a start and Jack understood the power of process and small beginnings. And what a way that understanding, faith and patience paid off. Within the first few hours of setting up the website, he began receiving emails from Chinese investors who were curious about him, his background, and more importantly, his website. When Ma came to this realization, he understood that the internet had a lot of potential to offer. In April of 1995, Mr. Ma, his wife, and a friend went door-to-door -door searching for a $20,000 investment to translate their initial efforts into a full-time business. They decided to name their company China Pages, and it would specialize in developing websites for all types of businesses. In a period of three years, the company made 5 million Chinese yuan, a whopping equivalent of $800,000. The day we got connected to the web, I invited friends over to my house. We waited three and a half hours and got half a page, but I was so proud. I proved to my house guests that the internet existed, Ma said. Two years later, however, he decided to leave the company in part because of the intense rivalry posed by the communications company Hangzhou Telecom, which had recently established a business that was in direct conflict with the previous one. In the years 1998 and 1999, Ma would move on to serve as the CEO of a Beijing-based internet startup that received funding and support from the Ministry of Foreign Trade and Economic Cooperation. 
However, he was concerned that if he continued working for the government, he would be unable to take advantage of the several financial opportunities presented by the internet. Ma was successful in persuading his staff at the ministry to return to Hangzhou with him and form the Alibaba Group. Together, they launched a website that facilitated transactions between small enterprises. Ma was confident that the market for small businesses selling to other small businesses over the internet had a significantly bigger potential for expansion than the market for businesses selling directly to consumers over the internet. Jack Ma anticipated that the Alibaba program would enhance the domestic e-commerce industry and further develop an e-commerce platform that Chinese businesses, particularly small and medium-sized enterprises, could use to solve issues posed by the World Trade Organization. Taobao Marketplace, Alipay are all developed by Ma beginning in 2003, with the intention of enhancing the existing global e-commerce infrastructure. When Jack Ma established Taobao, which roughly translates as searching for treasure in Chinese, it was virtually the Chinese version of eBay, and eBay noticed it. At the time, eBay in partnership with the Chinese company EachNet held an 80% share of the market. However, Ma saw weakness in their business plan. He believed that the practice of charging consumers a transaction charge was a deficiency on the part of the eBay each net approach. He did not waste any time capitalizing on that gap. Ma's company Taobao did not impose this kind of price on its users, but it did generate revenue through internet ads and the selling of supplemental services to existing customers. In 2007, Taobao had risen significantly to own a market share of 67%. eBay, on the other hand, had ceded a major share of its Chinese business to the Chinese language media giant Tom Group. Ma's foresight had paid off. As a result of Taobao's meteoric surge in popularity, eBay turned its attention towards it and made an offer to acquire the company. However, Ma unsurprisingly turned down their offer and instead sought backing from Yahoo co-founder Jerry Yang who offered to invest $1 billion in the company. How Jack Ma ran his company into profit was that he created a system where a membership fee was required for a small business to become verified as trustworthy sellers on Alibaba. However, small businesses that wanted to offer their products to customers located outside of China would have to pay a higher membership price. Moving on, Jack would go to establish Alipay in 2003 with the purpose of serving as a neutral third party during financial dealings as a way to promote consumer trust in online shopping, and its expansion was exponential to say the least. Three years after its establishment in 2007, Alibaba.com with all of its branching companies successfully sailed through its initial public offering in Hong Kong, which brought in $1.7 billion. The Alibaba Group made its initial public offering debut on the New York Stock Exchange in September 2014 and raised $21.8 billion as a result. That initial public offering was the most successful of its kind in the history of the United States, and it resulted in a market value for the company of $168 billion, which was the greatest such valuation in the history of IPOs for any internet firm at the time. During this period in 2014, Ma also created the Ant Group, an organization which acted as the parent group of Alipay and several other financial services. An initial public offering was planned for Ant for the year 2020. However, this was put on hold because Chinese government officials insisted that the business undergo a restructuring. In addition, Alibaba had been the subject of an antitrust probe that had been initiated a while back. These events transpired shortly after Ma's criticism of the authorities overseeing the nation's financial system. Many people linked this friction between him and the government to his next big move that happened in 2019. In 2019, Jack Ma decided to step down from his position as executive chairman of the Alibaba Group Holding in order to devote more time and energy to the charitable activities sponsored by his foundation. He also disproved accusations that the Chinese government had coerced him into his decision to step down. Daniel Zhang, who had previously served as the CEO of Taobao, took over in his place after he left the scene. Jack Ma has not always been all about the business and political endeavors. 
He showed a lot of heart when he made the announcement in 2007 that he and his entire family had sworn off shark fin soup now and forever. In response to the widespread condemnation of the global practice of killing sharks for their fins. According to Ma, at that precise moment, he developed a newfound interest in environmentalism, which would go on to shape his overall philosophy. As a result, the Alibaba Group updated its listing policy in January 2009, and as part of that change, it prohibited the sale of products containing shark fin across all of its e-commerce platforms. The Chinese billionaire had a little more up his sleeves than just supporting worthy causes. Jack Ma explored the acting world when he was featured in the short kung fu film Gong Shodao in the year 2017. In the same year, in celebration of Alibaba's 18th birthday, Jack Ma took part in a singing festival and delivered various dancing performances including the performance of the song Can You Feel the Love Tonight. He decided to dress up as a heavy metal rock star during the event to take things up a notch. At the same event, he also performed a piece by Michael Jackson. Jack Ma's life and achievements have been recognized all over the world. His contributions and philanthropic work in developing countries and humanitarian events such as the recent coronavirus pandemic have earned him the praise of many. He has been honored with many awards such as being named the Entrepreneur of the Year at the Asian Awards Ceremony in 2015, 30th Most Powerful Person in the World by Forbes in 2014, as well as earning a place in Time Magazine's World's 100 Most Influential People, and the list goes on and on. This Chinese internet giant is a massive inspiration to us all to rise above our challenges and explore undefined territories that may hold the treasure we seek. What territories are you yet to explore? What are your limitations today? Let this incredible story of Jack Ma challenge you to push further. You never know how you might end up as one of the world's most influential people if you don't stop going the way Mr. Ma did. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.